What up, dude bros? I'm Frank. This is a little overview of my Nerf arsenal. Quick pans over some of it, then I'll go over each of the items. Main blasters, tactical attachments in here, and some of my ammo, magazines, and more blasters. few comments before I begin. I'm not saying this is the largest, best, or most tact cool arsenal ever. This is just my arsenal. And also remember the focus of my nerf collection is video production, not necessarily nerf wars. Are redundancies, all this ammo, or you know, certain gear really necessary for the average nerfer? No. Well, is it necessary for me? No. But keep that in mind when I go over all the gear. So let's start over here because it's my favorite. Oh, and if you didn't notice, it's kind of by section, you know, like lines or series, or, you know, I have some spring and flywheel stuff separated. But let's start over here. This is the rival section, a bunch of rival chaoses over on the right. Zeus, a few others. I think I have every rival blaster on the ground right now. Two nemesises, pretty cool blasters. Magazines and ammo aren't by here. These are all just the, the blasters themselves, but rival blasters. Moving down, these are my modified blasters. A number of stripes right here with some worker kits and various, you know, combinations and assemblies. Zeus long shot kit, two rapid strike Uzis, a base, basic strife mod, Chris Vector stuff that's still worker stuff, worker springers right here, the Straven, Holy Tactics Batman, <laughs> more worker stripes, normal stripes with no parts, rapid strikes. Three Ravens, and I have another one new in box over there. I'm not intentionally collecting them, but I don't want to sell them, so I suppose I am at this point kind of collecting them because they're harder and harder to find. A few Moduluses. Yeah, seriously, Nerf, you really screwed that up calling it the Modulus. Nobody wants to call it like a CS10 because that doesn't even make sense. It's a suffix like Recon CS, you know, 6 or whatever. You called it the freaking Modulus. Come on. In the Nerf cam, both of those terrible naming decisions, bros. Demolisher. Rhino Fire, Regulator, pretty awesome, Hyper Fires. I think that's kind of the uh, flywheel master race section. I mean, I'm pretty sure like if I armed like a group of people with from here over, it would destroy three times that category. Like if I got all those times three because uh, flywheel master race in rival, I mean, awesome sauce. Kind of looks like an armory, like if you go like that. I turned my camera, I realized your monitor didn't turn. It might have been dizzying. <laughs> Next section, some mega blasters up in here, or over there. Mastodons, two centurions, double breaches, laid bow, roto fury, some pistols, more pistols, the mega series. Moving on, I don't think that has a category, but that's the uh, Terror Scout, so yeah. More or less the Springer section where the Springers didn't fit anywhere else. Long shot, rough cut. Battle Scout, piece of crap. Yeah, you. Battle Scout, you're bad. You should feel bad. Retaliator, Recon Mark II, Tri Strike, Strong Arm. Nope, Disruptor, you, you tricked me. <laughs> Same thing. A few Accu Strike Blasters. Don't want to get too far out of this section. Lay Jolts. I mean, pretty much just all of these are Jolt reskins, but then here are some actual Jolts. Not the Jolt reskin, the original OG. Yeah, bro. <laughs> More Springer Pistols. Alien Menace. Is that line dead? Because they haven't really done much with it. It was kind of cool looking. Doomlands up in there. Kind of like the Alien Menace. It's kind of like a meh line. Like people like the Zombie Strike line, but people didn't really get into the Alien Menace or Doomlands. The grips and all the Doomlands blasters are kind of annoyingly small. So, hmm. shoot, I'm, I'm zigzagging now. This isn't making much sense. I'll just continue on. Zombie Strike, because I mentioned it. You know, probably know all of these blasters. Not many new ones. Three blowguns, because tactics. Sometimes you just gotta blow. <laughs> Beyond that, some Rebel Blasters. Meh. Whatever. Some Star Wars. I'd say the names of all of them, but honestly some of these, like, I, I don't even remember what they called that, but Star Wars Miniature M16, Star Wars Larger M16, Star Wars WTF. <laughs> Walkie Talkies. This is my um, vintage, yeah, at this point, the Deploy, the Stampede, these are vintage. Vintage, obsolete, kind of old blasters up in here. 
crossbow is not obsolete, don't get offended, but old, old stuff. Deploy, AKA fire kindling, <laughs> walkie talkies, capture the flag thing, stampede, barrel break, crossbow, yeah, crossbow, absorb its awesome sauce. <laughs> Secret shot, times two, or two of them. Fun trivia, that was my first Nerf blaster that I owned. My brother gave it to me for one of my birthdays when I was a youngster. Don't remember the age, but it was like seven maybe. And some other old stuff. <laughs> Trying to cover all the Nerf before I move out of the Nerf blasters to the off-brand. But um, over here, some melee. Can't have enough chainsaws, right? Gotta destroy all the Zambies. So yeah, chainsaws help. Like I mentioned, new in-box Raven. And these are some new in-box Strifes because um, yeah, I don't have enough. <laughs> Just kidding. But uh, those are, I think, 10 Strifes. Frustration-free Amazon packaging is pretty cool. Um, easy to stack, unlike the production or retail packaging with open box stuff. Oh, <laughs> these, I, I missed those. Yeah, the little bow in the, uh, in the missile launcher right there. I think that's all of the Nerf blasters. Other than the attachments, that's all the Nerf stuff. So now some off-brand or some non-Nerf brand. Air Warriors. I think I have most of them. I have reviews on everything, or I think everything that I have on the ground here, most of them. Maybe not the little ones, but Air Warriors. Oh, and um, you like my fire hazard line? It's like when you're on an airplane, your emergency exit, follow the arrows. <laughs> They're modulus barrels. It's supposed to be a joke, probably. Only funny in my head, whatever. <laughs> Moving into X-Shot, kind of. X-Shot bug attack, right there, more X-Shot. Yeah, that organization is pretty poor, whatevs. You try to fit this many Nerf Blasters in one room and make it look good. Well, that's why I had to go to different areas. <laughs> Nerf Nitro, which don't really belong here because it's not really, like, tag. It's shooting cars for fun. Oh, and these are these were McDonald's kids, uh, like a kid's meal toy. I bought them, and before I could do my review, they became discontinued or impossible to find, and I didn't want to make a review and then say, hey, too bad you can't go get it, because that would just be like a dick move. But I, So I didn't even open them. So kind of like collectors. I know people do that with some kids' meals toys, so maybe in 10 years I can retire off of selling whatever the heck that is. I'm just kidding. Or am I? I don't know. Who needs to stock market when you can just invest in toys, right? I think that's all from this side. What did I miss over here? Some Zing arrow launchers and whatever that projectile was called, the big disc ring thing. So yeah, that's that. Rubber band shooter. Some dart zone stuff. I think they're coming out with some stuff in the next year. I'm excited to get some samples. That blaster is still one of my favorite, like bang for the buck blasters, the Magnum 40 or Magnum 40, 36 or 44, I forget. Magnum a load, a spring action with a huge capacity, no need for mags. And it's only like 15 or 20 bucks. More dart zone. Getting into Boomco. Boomco! Can't say that without saying it goofy because Boomco's goofy. The Halo Boomco. Not as performance oriented as some of the others, but still cool looking. And even though I have a whole magazine section, I put the Boomco stuff because I store all of this in one bin um, because they're not compatible with anything but the Boomco stuff. Some um, massive mags or clips, sorry. Clip is not always wrong, bros. It's just most of the time. If you say that's a clip, it's incorrect because it's a, a spring-powered feeding mechanism. That is a clip. It's not wrong. Misconceptions in the comment section sometimes. Varying capacities. I think that's all for the, the blasters and the launchers in this whole room. Okay, if I'm not really a wizard, I might break my camera here. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. Wingardium Leviosa. Okay, have it back in my hands now. Now let's look at some magazines and loading devices and some ammo, starting with some magazines up in here. And some rival stuff, Chaos Magazines, Zeus or, uh, you know, Apollo, just 
the non-chaos mags, uh, 12 round and then the six round. Don't really use the six round, but you know, they came with blasters. 18 round stick mags, not, a, uh, not rival, those are just normal ones. Right here, I have some tactical banana mags, 12 round straight mags, and then a bunch of six round mags. Don't really use those, but you know, we can throw them at people. <laughs> Raven mag. That's why I had to unbox that third Raven, because I used to only have two, and then I had two new inbox ones, but I'm re-reviewing it along with some other blasters. Spoiler, that's an upcoming series. And I had to unbox it just to get another one of these mags, because I didn't have one, to properly review the Raven. Drum mags, I think that's two 35-round drums, and then five of the, what is that, 25-round capacity? Five of those. Not really a drum guy, I'd rather have the stick mags. Some doom lands, and then the, the battle clip clip. Freaking... That gun is just so bad. <laughs> Air Warriors mags, which are compatible, uh, not the green ones, these yellow ones are compatible with the Nerf Blasters, including their Mega one. So if you want your Mega Centurion to have 12 round capacity, cross compatible, and then some actual Centurion mags. These, are, these mags are the X-Shot mags, which are not compatible with Nerf, but they look very similar. Some Worker mags. These are the P mags, 12 round capacity. And I also have an OD green one. Those are black. Oh my gosh, Coop, you're being racist. You called it black. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, four clear 22 round banana mags by Worker. And then some, like a black, an opaque, or a translucent black, and then an opaque orange. Some, what is this, a 15 round? It's, it's printed on the top, just like a real Nerf mag. <laughs> this is also a Worker, even though it looks just like a Nerf mag. That's a 15 round banana mag. And then this is the Hex mag, which, oh, that also has 15 round capacity. How did they, hmm, I never, I never lined these up. They have the same capacity. The hex mags are a little shorter. The more you know. If you're not familiar with them, the worker stuff, that's a third party manufacturer that makes stuff compatible with the Nerf guns. So these are not Nerf magazines, but they're compatible with Nerf blasters. And um, obviously far more tech cool. <laughs> and some, um, uh, what, what, what's my, my label say? Yeah, tactics bro. Worker suppressors, um, then the little metal ones. A little Streamlight ripoff. This is from um, the Gear Best. It's a tech flashlight. And that, that's a worker flash hider slash WTF muzzle device. Like, I don't know what it is, but yeah. Giant chode device. Those are the mags, other than the Boomco mags, which I already covered. Now to some ammo. Now this is excessive, but it just makes me feel good to look at like large quantities of anything. That's just like a human thing. So right here, my label says little valentine darts this is um do you want to count them for me here hold on i'll just do it in video right now one two three no i'm just kidding a, a metric load that's what i call it <laughs> and then also the headshot ammo i love labels on stuff i'm an organizational dork but this is headshot ammo i call it the the, the gumball rainbow because when you put them into a rival nemesis it looks like a gumball machine that feels so good by the way just to like run your hand through it <laughs> Haven't counted, but it's like thousands. <laughs> More ammo, Kush Gen 3, and I have these little like net things bought on Amazon for like a, a dollar each or something. Cornucopia Blue Rival, Cornucopia White ones. That's mostly as a joke, so you can like shoot. Never mind, that's so when you spray on somebody, it's white and funny. Red Cornucopia, Yellow Cornucopia. More Kush Gen 3, and these are headshot ammo. So they're dual color, so when they fly through the air, they look freaking awesome. Kind of in a, an auxiliary ammo storage bin here. Stuff I don't use quite as much. And this is auxiliary ammo too, which I don't get to very often. But it's all the extra ammo. Um, like I keep new in packaging ammo for chrono tests. You know, I can just make this faster. Okay, so I won't say every one, but um, most of these are off-brand for like ammo comparison testing, and I don't want to throw them away or... Uh, like give them away just in case I need to reference something like this one. It's um, the Chlorf darts or however you say that, just in case if in the future I need to compare it to something. I like to keep everything. I'm a pack rat, but a pack rat that likes organizing. So yeah. <laughs> and that's this little area. And that's some Nerf Nitro accessory stuff. The ramps, the uh, little cars. I just threw everything in a bin. I don't know how often I'll be referencing that stuff. And that's this section. Now on to the tactics area. It almost all fits right in the frame right there. I need a wide angle lens. Huh? Start up here, some stocks. 
I don't know that the, these really need explaining, um, other than maybe the off-brand ones. Those are worker lightning storm style stocks. That's a worker Chris Vector stock. The other ones are Nerf brand. Stock shot, modulus stocks, the tri-strike shot stock. Yeah, I can't speak today. <laughs> Demolisher stocks, re uh, retaliator, stockade, regulator, the, the, the blaster one, the storage one, alpha trooper, barrel strike, retaliator barrels, some long range sniper barrels, because I'm um, hardcore sniper mode up in here. Spectre barrel slash suppressor, long strike, the regulator stuff. You guys know what this is, I'm sure. Tri-strike mega attachment, retaliator grips for front stability. So if you combine those with the tri or bipods, holy stability. <laughs> More stuff, some uh, rival attachments right there and there. Red dots, scopes, shields. That's a 3D printed ammo thing. I mentioned that in another video. That ruins the dart, so I wouldn't recommend using it if, you, if you're trying to use it as an actual dart storage thing. I just think it looks intimidating, so I've kind of sacrificed all of those darts to just stay in there permanently, because they're dented forever. Ammo counter, ammo counter, buy ammo counter. I said it one too many times. That's what you get for having a descriptive brand name. <laughs> Attachments and just nonsense. Like These are just those silly little sites you find on. That might be Air Warriors or non-nerf Star Wars stuff and whatever. Super protective. How, how strong is it? Should I? Pretty strong. Considering it says, this is not a protective device. Right on the side of it. Way to have confidence, nerf. Your lawyers have zero soul, man. Sell a mask and say it's not protection. That is um, all of the attachments and stuff. And some blasters again. And some magazines. And I said I had a little bit more ammo, so I'll just do a little walk over to my storage room. The other ammo containers go up there, so I don't really get to them a lot. Right here is where I need to be able to quickly get to anything for um, testing, test fire videos, shooting, or uh, comparisons or anything like that. Little Valentine, Elite, E-Kind, Zombie Strike, Modulus, Elite, AccuStrike, Missiles, Mega, Rebel, Doomlands, Air Warriors, Boomco, Dart Zone, X-Shot, and Batteries. I don't know what that is. Worker Steffens, and I keep the magazines with those Steffens. Oh, and down here I forgot, uh, Nerf Elite. More large ammo. I actually don't know what this is. Oh, that's where I keep them. Yeah, whatever that is. I mentioned that earlier. Ring thing. Rebel Arrows. Missiles of a, a, like irregular type, because those are what I use most often. And below that, um, this is my worker box. So worker parts of varying types. <laughs> These are Nerf parts from various failed projects over the years, which, <laughs> you know, as you can tell by the size of it, it's a lot of projects and long shot plunger tubes by the looks of it. Demolisher stuff. That's when I hacked the crossbow up for my poonbow. I kept all the scraps because Cinnamon of value. I like looking at it. I sold the Poonbo a while back, by the way, if you notice why it's not there. I said I'm not going to sell it, but then somebody offered me an absurd amount of money, so I did. <laughs> and I think this is kind of more or less the same stuff. It's a long shot shell. Oh, that's from the Zeus 2 kit. Ammo counter, chips, hyper fire. Oh, that's where this project was. Well, now a bunch of people are going to be mad because I mentioned uh, hyper fire Uzi, and that's what that is. I wonder how close that was to being done. Looks like it's pretty much done. Didn't get around to finishing that up. Whoops. <laughs> 3D printed parts. Um, more shells and just, again, it's the same stuff. Just mod components. Um, oh, up here, my chronograph in the chrono box. Fan mail, which I keep every piece of. Makes me feel good to read that stuff. I stopped making the videos. Might make a vlog on explaining that theory. But I do still read it all. I keep some of the blasters up there when they're not on my living room floor. Santa Claus suit from my Santa Claus video. And that's, um, what is that? Oh, water guns that Hasbro sent me. I don't review water guns, so I haven't opened them. And the rest of this is primarily video gear, I think. Um, oh, costumes, <laughs> tactical gear, costumes. I have a whole thing for masks. I don't even use masks that much, but I just love masks. They're kinky and stuff. So I have a whole box of those and then various props. And I found prop money. So I feel like a baller. <laughs> oh, and uh, cups. Ha! <laughs> Lots of cups. Some more camera gear up there. It's more of a house tour at this point than an Arsenal overview. 
lay riot shield. <laughs> my blasters, my magazines, ammo, gear, kind of where I store it. I am very much aware that it's all excessive. I don't need all of this, but I like it. And I like to have stuff at hand, uh, like old copies of old blasters that I've reviewed, just in case I reference them for a series overview or a, a versus or a comparison of some type. Um, and just so I can have everything right at my fingertips very quickly in order to make better content. So that's my Arsenal update video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you have any comments on what you'd like to see in the next one or anything, leave a comment in the section below. Thanks so much for watching, bros. And as always, stay tactical.